Hi everyone, this is Kevin, aka The Common Sense Teacher, coming to you live from a college because what we do is we teach and we have fun doing it. I actually want to talk today about the Rule of 72. Now, most people probably know this and most people don't, but the Rule of 72 was not discovered by Albert Einstein, but he was like the one that kind of made it, made it cool. Albert Einstein then. So the Rule of 72 works like this. It's about investing, simply about investing. Now, we're going to be talking about this for a few months, but we want to teach you all how to invest, but when you're investing, we want to teach you what to look for. So the rule of 72 teaches you how long it's going to take your money to double. It's called compound interest. So let me show you how this works. Compound interest. Now, let's take for instance a person who's around 30 years old and they made a one-time investment of $10,000. So we're going to look at a one-time investment of $10,000 for someone who's 30 years old. Now, with this person being 30 years old, let's say, for instance, they went to their local bank and they say, we're going to put it in a savings account. And let's say, let's use this for example, let's say the bank is being real generous and the bank gave you 4%. So this is how the rule of 72 works. The rule of 72 pretty much states that at 4%, you take 72 divided by 4, and it tells you it's going to take your money to double. So for all the people watching at home and the comfort of your home, take 72 divided by 4, and you're going to get 18 years. So every 18 years, the $10,000 is going to double. So let's look at it from 30 years old, and we start at 10000 That means at 48 It's going to double to 20000 And at 66, which we all know is retirement age, it's going to go to $40,000. Now, I want you all to think about this for a minute and really, really understand this. If at 66 is retirement age, you only have $40,000 to retire. Now, the Social Security Administration and other places that deal with retirement pretty much states that you need 12 times what you earn now to last you into retirement. So if you make $100,000 now, you need over a million. If you make forty or fifty thousand dollars now, you need over five hundred thousand for retirement. Now let's look at this. Let's say, for instance, you got smart and you decided to go put that money in what's called a four hundred one k. And let's say your four hundred one k was giving you six percent. So guess what we do again? We take seventy two divided by six. That means your money's gonna double every. Anyone want to guess? I'm gonna give you a second. Anyone? 12 years. So we take 72 divided by 6, your money doubles every 12 years. Now let's look at this. At 30, you make that same one-time investment of $10,000. At 42, it grows to $20,000. At 54, it grows to 40,000. And guess what? At 66, you now have $80,000 to retire. Now, this is what most people do. They get excited, they get happy because they have 401k. We're not telling you at the common sense teachers to not invest in your 401k. We're just saying to understand what it is. See, the 401k was created because they got done with pension plans back in the 1970s. So because the pension plans went away, they had to come with 401ks. And guess what? You do not own your 401k. You only own the money that's in it. Your job owns your 401k. So what we teach you to do at Common Sense Teacher is to invest wholesale versus retail. Keep your 401k, but this last piece, you want to open your own investment account up at what's called an investment bank. Now, most people are probably thinking, what is an investment bank, Kevin? Well, an investment bank is like T. Rowe Price, Fidelity, Vanguard, things like that. Places where you can take your money, open up an account, and pretty much invest wholesale versus retail. Now, let me go over this real quick. And this is a question I want you to think about. If these places are willing to give you 4 and 6%, the question you have to ask yourself is, how much do you think that they're getting? How much do you think the bank is getting off your money? How much do you think insurance companies are getting off your money? Think about that for a minute. At 6%, how much do you think they're getting? 
probably 12% or higher. So let's look at 12%. And this is what's called the banker's secret. This is what the bank doesn't want you to know. So if we do follow the rules again, what are the rules? Take 72, divided by 12, that means that your money is going to double every, anyone want to guess? Six years. Okay. So if it doubles every six years, that means that at age 30, again, you make that one-time investment of how much? 10000 So at age 36, where does it go? Y'all follow me at home? $20,000. At age 42, where is it at next? 40,000. And at age 48, it grew to what? 80,000. Now I'm gonna pause right here for a minute because early in the example, you all saw where the 40,000, they gave that to you at 66 under 4%. And then the bank said, well, since you wanna get smarter, open up a 401k, we're going to give you the 80,000 at age 66 under the 6%. So I want you to think about this for a minute. From this point forward, for the rest of this video, the bank is making money off of whose money? Yours. It's your money, you're right, it's your money. So let's keep going. At age 54, the bank has now made 160,000. At age 60, because the money is doubling every way, six years. At age 60, the bank made 320000 Now, I want you all to guess. At your retirement age, let me show you what the bank made off of you. At age 66, which is retirement age for most Americans, the bank made $640,000 off of whose money? I want to write this again. The bank made $640,000 off of your money. Now, this is not a time for you to get sad. This is a time for you to get mad <laughs> because you have to do something about this. Because people are literally retiring into poverty with no money because they don't understand how this works. We just happen to know how to get eight, 10, 12, 14% or higher because we partner with financial advisors, CPAs, people who know about money so that we can work together to make your life easier. For more videos, tips, tools, all those things, be sure to click the link below and subscribe to the page to get everything you need. Like the page to get everything you need and we'll see each of y'all on the other side.